Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson of our certification training for the exam ML300, so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019. And before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe so you never miss out on any new free certification training material. And now, without further ado, let's begin with today's lesson. And the goal today is to revise how to use smart arts. So we have to learn how to insert and format smart art graphics and more specifically insert smart arts, convert lists to smart art graphics as well as add and modify smart art graphic content. Okay? So let's perhaps begin by converting lists to smart art. We have to firstly create our list, so let's simply type one, two and three. And now, in order to convert this list into a smart art, we have to select all three bullet points and click in the Home tab under the Paragraph group Convert to Smart Art. We have a few default options available here, and we can also choose mod more smart art graphics, so you can specifically look up the type of smart art that best fits your data. So, for example, we can choose hierarchy, relationship, but for our purpose, list will be the most convenient. And in the exam setting, as with everything with PowerPoint, you have to look for the exact name. So we can hover over the object or click on it and read the description here. So let's choose these alternating hexagons and yeah, let's click OK. And now you can see that our list has been converted into a smart art. Perfect. Let's do the other two objectives. Insert smart art graphics and then modify it. So how do we insert and smart art? When you have a slide with a layout that supports this media placeholder, you can click here, insert a smart art graphic or you can go to the insert tab and under illustrations choose smart art. So let's choose this option, insert a smart art graphic and as an example we will be creating a hierarchy of three branches of the US government. So for that purpose we'll choose hierarchy, we'll choose organization chart and click OK. So now you can see that by default we have a few new objects here and let's review what we can do with it. So firstly there are some styling options. Okay, You can choose several smart art styles, either the default ones or the tr 3D like that. Some have for example, reflections, some have shadows. You can choose color theme. And notice that each one of those color for accent 1, accent 2 has also the subsequent names. So here we have gradient loop accent 2. We have a few layouts. And notice that the layouts with this media icon enable you to insert an image instead of this object, okay? So into this circle you can insert an image. And now let's look at the way we can modify a smart art. So the most convenient way how to begin with your smart art is to click this arrow on the left of the smart art and here you have all your text. So Let's perhaps get rid of all of these and let's begin by creating our smart art. So we have our empty empty item and let's write for example like that three branches of the of the US government. Okay? Now to insert a new item, I click enter and to demote the item so that it's like one level below the previous one, I have to click the tab key. Okay? And 
when I click, for example, now backspace, I can also demote the item by going into this option and click demote like that. Perfect. So let's write out the three branches which are, I believe, legislative, uh -huh, eg executive, and judicial. Okay. And the legislative branch is composed of Congress. So we go enter tab key Congress, enter tab key Senate and House of Representatives. Like that. We go to the executive branch, enter tab key president enter tab key vice president and cabinet and we go to the judicial item and enter tab key supreme court supreme court enter other sup other federal courts okay so that is how you can quickly design your smart app using this text edit window. And now there are a few more options for you available here, which you should know for the exam. So for example, we have this other federal courts selected. And to make this item one level deeper, as we have tried out before, we can click here demote like that and promote. We can w move the item up or down and we can for example like that click judicial and try to left perfect so yeah guys these are all the options you should know for the exam you can also convert the smart art into text or shapes you can reset this entire graphic in case you have applied some styles but yeah guys that is all for today's lesson I hope you find it valuable. If so, smash that like button. As we have said before, please subscribe if you'd like to see more presentation or certification training material. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!